Monday to Friday, 6 o'clock to 7 p.m. ETCNBC's Jim Cramer outlined the ways that Federal Trade Commission Chair Lena Khan has attempted to stop mergers and acquisitions from going through, hurting stock portfolios in the process. Khan's FTC has deterred many a potential merger, and that's kept stock valuations much lower than they should be as the Nippon Steel U. S. Steel deal shows, Kramer said Monday. Yep, Khan's been a one-woman wrecking crew for your stock portfolio even as stocks have done quite well without deals. One example Kramer singled out was the premium that Nippon Steel is paying for U.S. Steel, which is a deal that the two parties agreed to Monday. The buyer is offering a price of $55 per share for U.S. Steel, which closed at $39 on Friday. That suggests that Wall Street is undervaluing the price of U.S. Steel, Kramer said, which he believes also happened because of how much focus investors have had on interest rates. Kramer said this is one of many potential mergers and acquisitions across industries that would actually create more competition. What I am saying is that scale matters, Kramer said. If you don't allow smaller companies to gain scale by, say, letting Walgreens buy Rite Aid, we end up with a weak Walgreens, and a bankrupt Rite Aid, a dominant Amazon that gobbles up the whole category. Yet no one ever talks about that. Theoretical mergers like healthcare company Merck combining with Bristol Myers or food company Kraft Heinz joining with Hershey or General Mills would make their industries more competitive, Kramer said. Khan and the FTC recently attempted to block Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard as well as Amgen's acquisition of Horizon Therapeutics. The deep-pocketed legal teams of both companies allowed them to prevail through the red tape, which Kramer says has had the reverse of Khan's intended effect. Lena Khan wants to stop corporate consolidation, yet she's created a situation where only the largest, wealthiest companies can afford all the litigation that now comes with making acquisitions, he said. One area Kramer is not in favor of more consolidation as airlines, which he said have happened too much and have been negative for consumers. Click here to download Jim Kramer's guide to investing at no cost to help you build long-term wealth and invest smarter. Sign up now for the CNBC Investing Club to follow Jim Kramer's every move in the market.